So a emulator is now uh, emulator. This, this article comes from Kotaku. Uh, our as, our as, friend Chris Kohler. As many as many do. Uh, Chris Kohler's on a hot streak again being talked about on the podcast every week. Uh, Ethan Gotch and and Chris Kohler. So Chris Kohler is doing the Nate Dog. On oh, he's Nate Dog in it. He's doing. The oh, Nate I didn't Dog see the other name. This. Okay, sorry. I, I feel like he must be the, doing the Nate Dog. Oh, I was singing voices, Chris. I don't know. Probably not as good as Nate Dog's. It's no offense to Chris, but Nate Dog had a wonderful, wonderful Rest voice. Rest in peace, Nate Dog. <clears throat> um, so the developers behind RetroArch, uh, the uh, I believe RetroArch is behind like the Retro Pie and stuff like that. The the kind of the popular all-in-one emulation. It's a package of emulators. Um, uh, group heading uh, the, the developers um, they have started implementing something that translates Japanese text to English um, as you play the game um, there is a, a new f feature called the AI service button I guess and you press it um, while you're playing uh, an emulated game and uh, I don't see it here but I would have to assume you have to have the internet connected um, and it basically I'm sure people have seen this. Google, especially on like a phone, you can take a picture of something in a foreign language and tell it what language it's looking for and what it's going to translate it to. Or sometimes it could detect it, can it? Well, yes. Yeah. So, and then it, it basically puts the translated word over um, the, the foreign language word and gives you a rough idea of what you're reading. On the image. On the image. So this is using something similar concept. This, it, it's using it directly. Okay. It's, okay, it's, here's using, the, it's using the Google API. It's using, okay. Uh, RetroArch's new AI ser service button, I think it's funny, service button, uses a Google API to scan whatever is being displayed on the screen and does a check to see if any of it registers as Japanese and translates it into English. You can map the command to a single button, well, that'd be cool on a controller, that you can press anytime you need to translate something. In image mode, the game pauses and the translated text pops up in a new text box. While in speech mode, a robot will actually read the words out loud to you while the game keeps running. There's uh, typo, uh, Chris. There's two games in a row there, sorry. So that's very interesting. Now, obviously, the uh, success rate of it isn't always accurate or no. very high, but it's a start. And, you know, the, 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 Google, um, the Google service has been uh, increasing in its, you know, its, its uh, accuracy. Well, it's machine learning. And its reliability, yes. So, Which is key. So the more it uses itself and learns what's wrong and what's right and feedback, it'll, it will get better. Exactly. So this is something that I, I see um, becoming popular very quickly. Oh, this is great. There are, you know, translation patches out there for many games, um, you know, especially the more popular ones. But to be able, uh, for instance, for me, I, I don't remember, like, any of the Japanese I took. Um, Fire Pro. Well... We don't need to anymore. It's in English. Um, Damn it! But uh, you know, I could. But for the old games, <laughs> I could. I could take something from a menu screen from one of the mahjong games I have that I don't understand, and and get get something that is. It'll reasonable. be enough. You'll it's be able enough. to figure it out. Right. Exactly. It may not be. You know, if you're playing like maybe the story in an RPG might get butchered, but you probably still be able to follow along at least. So I think know. this is really exciting. This not even great. so much for RPGs and whatnot, but I think this is really exciting for people who do not know Japanese who are into uh, niche and weird games that don't necessarily have a following or, um, you know, wouldn't be a candidate sure. for a translation patch. Yeah. This is going to be really cool for that stuff. Like, I'm excited I can start looking at, I don't know, I'll, I'll, I can really, instead of just playing through the normal modes, I can really, like, break down the... Um, I can really break down the menus and the options in a lot of these games that I've never been able to because I just don't have the time or the knowledge. So obviously the nuance is the nuance of the Japanese language is different than English, so it's not going to be a hundred percent. I was talking about uh, looks like uh, something from is this from Earthbound? That's Earthbound uh, from Mother Three. Um, okay. So the first screen, for instance, uh, Chris did the uh, translation here. It says, "I stepped on a mole cricket. I wonder if it's okay." The machine translation uh, gets tripped up on the insect name. It says, basically, it says it was Okara, but I wonder if it was all right. So it's taking some... Okay, I see what it's doing. It's yes. Yeah. Because the name of the insect is part of another term or, or word. It's it's breaking it up. That can happen, obviously. Uh, something that when you're translating, if, you're not, if you don't know the difference. So then they they have a second one where that translates everything correctly but misses the nuance, the um, how you would read into a language, essentially. It says, okay, every, uh, everyone, it's time to eat. The other one says, which literally translates to, um, ah, everyone is rice. Everyone is rice. Yes. Gotcha. So, all right. 
It'll get better. I think it's impressive. And it happens with very small delay looking at the video. It's like, especially when it speaks, it's like a second and a half, then it starts read, reading it. That's, That's crazy. It's crazy. Machines are taking over, Ian. But of course, it starts with video games. Oh, and yeah, in here, in here, someone says, uh, here, Chris or Ethan says, basically, the machine learning translation works well for when you need to know a specific command prompt or an idea of what you're supposed to be doing. So yeah, exactly for for just like yeah. menus and commands and single one-off hey. words on retro games, like that's I, I I'm uh, stupid excited. I about I, that. I need to know how to. I don't need to take pictures and you had, I knew how to do no how to do the AI and, and fire pro six man scramble on Saturday I, I know I would have needed this versus the print the 50 page dot matrix printout that I had uh, you know following along it wasn't dot matrix but you know what I mean like uh, that I, I had great. one for G and it was like yeah it was it's, like 45 50 pages and, and I took my AI seriously so I literally had to go down <laughs> what happens 20% of the time when the guy's in the corner yeah, and, and, then, hurt. and then it's like so. everything is uh, um, you know you count down wrong yes. and then everything is off and you're like why the fuck is it why off? is my wrestler why is disco not wrestling the way i want him to <laughs> why wrestle? is disco not dancing <laughs> why is he not doing his leg lock that he can never get right i can't do that sorry it's a deep cut with disco there uh, anyway all right uh, this is this can only get better and i wonder if this will have uh applications for uh for like indie, indie games potentially versus maybe you can build this in uh to an indie game without having to pay someone to localize it even if you know mm. it'd be better to localize obviously or a ways off from that, away from yes that? i mean I, it's I, a first step i mean at least as a way to yeah there's ways to probably implement this to get like you said implement it into an indie game just so people over here can could play do it. it before it gets you know yeah. if it's not going to get if a release if i can't localize it to japan at least they could have a go at it exactly and do it and, and get get what's the opposite of english if it's bad and you know if there's an, there's an op opposite to romanji so try to translate english badly the japanese <laughs> never thought about that all your base are belong to us but the japanese version of it all right moving on 